there is also a party at my place, a Halloween party. That Halloween party is gonna be is probably gonna be quite cool. We have a little bit of decoration and some food and drink that suits the team. So today was a very uh, computer day. I spent all day at work on a computer as you can see on that small video. Right now I'm gonna edit uh, the previous video, like the next video, that will be the one before this one, uh, and gonna spend the whole day on the computer again. Uh, we have a lot of wind right now, it's some very cold wind, and it's freezing, the winter is coming. Hey guys, doing construction lately because I need the money. Uh, right now I was searching for a good deal on a motorcycle helmet because I would like, I would hope to go get the motorcycle this week. Uh, working seven days a week, getting some timber for the fire this winter in home. Have you seen that line over there? It's beautiful. Ah, fuck. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, working seven days a week, making money. Just had a, an interview. I took a couple of hours out of work today. They were pretty cool about it. So, Doing a couple of interviews, I did a, an interview with City Care, which handles all the city related uh, infrastructure, water, parks, uh, anything. And uh, they might have a spot for me in their IT team, an entry spot for six months, and then maybe get something better so the guy was very enthusiastic about hiring me so he should give me some news this week and I'll know I might start very soon like next Monday so I should be working seven days a week for two weeks which is great to do a little money, uh, get the motorcycle and all. So yeah, I'll keep enjoying, I'm going back home right now and I'll keep enjoying that beautiful line in the sky with the clouds and the sun. It's magnificent.
Hey guys, so I'm trying to stay active the best I can. So far, I'm pretty successful at it. So yesterday, I went to a pretty crazy party with Rachel and some friends. I have some footage of us being at the liquor store before the party. Uh, I slept at Rachel so I didn't have to get back on the bicycle at night to come back home and went to work from Rachel. Today is Saturday so I still have work on Saturday and Sunday for this weekend, maybe the next one, I'm not sure. I am starting to think about doing something a little crazy. Uh, I'll try to put it in video and make it a surprise. It might be pretty cool. I will wait until beginning of next week to be sure to do it, if I do it or not. Because it will involve a bit of money and if I secure a good job this next week I'll put that in motion before I start that job that might be some cool video and some cool stuff to film so I hope I can make it uh, on the subject of work so uh, I've been doing construction during the week some data entry job during the weekend but I also had interview with a company on Tuesday or something. So I had to took the afternoon off. They wanted to meet me again, which is a very good sign on Friday, but they had to reschedule, I don't know when yet. Uh, when I take the afternoon, I like pack my nice, Tra trouser and shirt in my construction in, in my backpack on the construction side. Today after work I met someone who was who is selling a motorcycle he showed it to me a little bit. It was funny because he's French, so you know, we had a little chat. Uh, the thing is, like his motorcycle is cheap, which is good. Uh, if it's cheap, I can I have more money to do some work on it. But I would also like I, I'm okay if there is a little bit of work to do on it. But I would also like it to be like functional. And to me, that motorcycle was not that reliable. We had like a couple problems starting it. Probably just the battery and all the stuff, but even the clutch to like pass the gear was very hard. And yeah, I want something that I can handle pretty easily uh, or fix pretty easily. So yeah. I'm passing on that and we'll try to find something else.
Okay, so as you might have heard from the guy who's who like got it for me, uh, 63 bucks for a snowboard is a pretty good deal. Uh, it's not the best snowboard ever, but we'll do the trick. We'll be good. So right now I have to like get it back up the hill. On the bicycle. So we'll see how it goes. to go up I probably won't bike up the hill because like snowboard you know but yeah I might have looked ridiculous but I proved myself that it was possible to ride a bicycle while transporting a snowboard doing things while transporting a snowboard is something I like to prove the next one will be riding a motorcycle while holding a snowboard the tricky part will probably be going up the mountains and snow and all so I'll probably have to do it when I'm sure that there is not too much snow but yeah, having fun trying to do stuff if it's, hard, if it's easy, it's not fun bed a little bit tiring mostly after work but yeah get a beautiful view to go up so it's not too bad I want to use that spot to talk from time to time but here I don't know I don't have much to say uh, yeah today at work I booked a plane that I will take on Saturday 20 of May it's a surprise I won't tell you where I'm going and why I'm going there for it's gonna be pretty epic and fun so yeah I'll get a little bit of traveling and I'll hope you like it you quickly before one of my big projects that I'm preparing right now I'm gonna show you a bit like to give you a teaser of what I'm gonna do um, for the last two weeks and a half I've been working at a construction site I've done digging
lifting, uh, high isolation, putting uh, like I have I, like in the time lapse I probably put before. So isolation of the rooms with uh, polystyrene. Uh, so yeah, I've done like uh, pouring concrete, like all kinds of stuff that you do in construction. So it's pretty interesting, but it's very tiring, physically tiring. I am sour from everywhere, but it's okay. I I I kind of like it for now. But yeah, so I have that big project this weekend. So right now, I'm doing a test to see if everything that I need fits in my backpack for the plane I'm gonna take on Saturday because I'm taking a plane where I have no checking bag so everything has to fit in the backpack it's supposed to be uh, under 7 kilo but I never check it so but it shouldn't be more than 7 kilo I'm, not, I'm packing very low on this trip on this adventure I'll handle everything like eat, I'll buy everything that I need to eat and just have some changing like underwear and that's it. But I need to fit that bag in my backpack. So I bought it for that reason. It's like exactly what I wanted almost and I can fold it. and put it in my backpack so that takes more place than I expected but it's gonna work out like I said take too much space it's already like filling that backpack but I don't need to take much. The rest that I need to take is all the GoPro gear. So a little bag. Uh, I'll check. I have a checklist, but I don't need that much. I'll if I have the place, I'll put some sandwich also in it, and that will be it. Very packing very low, and we'll see. I just made a quick test. Uh, everything that I will not be wearing is fitting in the bag I even have like some place left for sandwiches probably uh, I am still struggling to know if I take the uh, sleeping bag or not I don't know if I will need it maybe I'll see I don't know because I'm already pretty packed and I don't want to have to pay like some fee the sleeping bag should be okay, but I have something else that I don't want to show you that I will be taking with me. And that plus the sleeping bag might like trigger them off, so I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. But yeah, for that trip, what I will need is the backpack, some clothes, warm clothes. Uh, probably will be some other clothes, but whatever. My wallet, of course, uh, in the backpack are all the paperwork I need, passport, other things, visa now, protection for the cell phone, everything for the camera, the rest is in there. The other bag, which is for something afterwards during the trip, which is part of the surprise. The goggles, um, batteries, very important to have cell phone all the time and all, maybe charge the GoPro at some point. Those things, some underwear, and that's pretty much it. So everything fits in the bag, it's not over 7 kilo. I should be fine. I might like depending on the weather forecast I might also take the jacket the snowboard jacket and some other stuff I'll see but feeling pretty good about it should be all go smoothly three days 
out of the city and it's gonna be pretty fun so thank you for watching and uh, like I said I'm gonna try to post everything all of this and before and other things before Saturday so on Friday at the latest so you're up to date and on Tuesday or Wednesday next Tuesday next Wednesday I'll be posting the video with the surprise so we had a bit of bad weather lately but as you can see it's been much better and yeah so New Zealand is sometimes a little cold I guess it gets colder because it's the winter but we have still have good days it's not always the case in Belgium so I appreciate it okay so today is Thursday I took a day off work because I had a job interview and some other stuff to do have to prepare for Saturday it's gonna be fun I hope you'll like the video I make when I come back from Monday from so yeah don't miss the next video it's gonna be a good one and yeah see you then thanks for watching and if it's easy it's not funny remember that